My name is Michael Williams, and let me first just thank you for giving me this opportunity to share directly with you. If you're like many people, you've been given an opportunity to ask yourself, how can I make life more meaningful? That is, how can I make what I do, my, my job, my career, how can I make my relationships more fulfilling, more satisfying, more peaceful, uh, more content? And so perhaps you've been wondering how you can live a life that has greater sense of purpose. That is, you feel like your life is going somewhere, like the things that you do and the things that you say have an impact on those around you. You also may be wondering, how can I figure out, you know, how can I find what I love to do? How can I find my passion? And then how can I begin to work in those passions? How can I use and share those passions with others? And often in such a way where you can earn a living. You may already have a sense that there's something out there for you to do. There's something special for you to do that you're going to love doing and that you're going to do well, but you just need to figure out what it is. Now, maybe you already know what it is and you're trying to figure out how can you get going doing it. Perhaps your background, your past, your experiences, your education, fear, doubt, people around you have actually been holding you back and keeping you from moving forward, keeping you from doing those things that you know you've been created or that you've been born to do. In fact, you and I were born, we were put here on this earth for a purpose. That is, we have a reason for being here or else we wouldn't be here, right? There's something for you to do and we'll talk about that in some of the other video and audio reflections. But just let it be known that you're here on purpose and you're here for a purpose. You may be going through a life transition. That is, maybe you have uh, just transitioned out of a job or out of a career and there are many people like that. Or maybe you are transitioning out of a long term or just a relationship and you want to make sure that the next thing you do is something that you really want to do, something that you really love to do, and something that has some meaning and purpose to it, right? You want to do something that gives you that sense of destiny, that fulfills that sense of destiny that you already have. Well, what I want to do in this ongoing series of reflections is to inspire you, it is to encourage you, it is to give you the hope that in fact you can discover, you can find your passion, that is you can figure out what it is that you love to do, that you in fact were designed and created and born to do, you can figure that out and then you can start doing it. I want to inspire you to do that. I want to inspire and encourage you to figure out why you're here, that is, whose lives are you here to impact. Perhaps there are businesses, there are services, there are inventions, there are artistic works that only you can bring to light. So what are they and how can you make them a reality? I want to inspire and I want to encourage you to figure that out and then do it. Many of you have that deep down sense that you are here for a purpose, that you have something great to do, but it's just how can you figure out what it is and then how can you get motivated and stay motivated to do it. Many of us have obstacles that prevent us and keep us from being the person that God has designed us to be. So we're going to look at those obstacles and we're going to look at ways to remove them. Now what happens to people is when they are not living in and working out of their passions as what they love to do, when they are just drifting along in life and they don't have a sense of real purpose and direction and meaning, when they're not fulfilling their, their destiny, they tend to become very frustrated. Sometimes they become angry, discouraged. Some people become depressed. Sometimes people drift in and out of bad and unhealthy relationships, right? Some people find themselves just taking any old job because 
Maybe that's what they've been doing, right? Or maybe it's because it's the only job available. Well, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to look at how you can figure out, can discover what it is that God wants you to do and then start doing it. Often what happens to people is when they get in this, this period or stage of frustration and, and disappointment and despair, they start to uh, abuse alcohol or drugs or sex or maybe they just watch an enormous amount of TV or they play video games just to escape because their life just doesn't seem to have a sense of meaning or purpose. So this series, this reflective series, this series of reflections is designed to make you aware, to give you some new perspectives, to help you think about yourself to help you think about your gifts, your talents, your abilities, your experiences, your background, no matter what may have happened. Maybe you have a criminal record. Maybe you were born in a family that didn't care about you, or maybe you felt like they didn't care about you, or maybe you don't have the education that you would like, or there's a lot of maybes, but no matter what your background, no matter what your experiences or lack of experiences, this series, now listen, is designed to inspire you, to encourage you, and to motivate you to use all of that to, dis to find and discover your passion, your purpose, and then ultimately to fulfill your destiny. Now, how do I know that this is possible? Well, millions and millions of other people have done the same thing, but I also know that this is possible because God has allowed you to be born and to go through everything that you've gone through, both good and bad, for a reason, for a purpose. In fact, for a series of reasons and purposes. And a major part of that is so that you would bring to reality, that you would bring to this earth, only those things that you can bring. That is, there are things that only you can say in the way that you can say them. There are people out there who will only hear what you have to say in the way that you can say it. There are inventions and there are businesses and there are songs and there are all kinds of things that can only be brought to reality and that can only impact the lives of others in the way that you can make it happen. Does that make sense? Now I know you may have heard this before, you may have read this, and that's fine, but what I want to do is to share this with you and to encourage you to do it because once you do this, once you discover, and this is a this is a process, but once you find your passion and you start living in that, once you discover you know why you're here, your purpose, and, and you have that sense of destiny like you're moving towards something, once you find that, what's gonna happen is you're gonna find that you're more productive in life, that you're less stressed but more productive, that you actually accomplish more. You're also going to find that you're more satisfied, that you're more fulfilled, that you're more content, that you're more peaceful, that you have more joy. Now notice, I didn't say that you're happier. There's nothing wrong with happiness, but happiness, now listen, is dependent upon your circumstances. So when circumstances are good, we can be happy. We are happy, and that's great. We want circumstances to be good. We want to be happy. However, when circumstances are not good, which they will be, we are going to have circumstances and situations and things that happen to us that are not going to be good and then we're not going to be happy, right? Sometimes we go through different moods, all of us. Sometimes our moods can change just like that and we're not happy. We're sad, we're angry, we're upset. So happiness is dependent upon our situation, our circumstance, but contentment, fulfillment, peace, and joy determine your circumstance and can reframe your circumstance. That is, when you're content, when you're fulfilled, when you have peace and joy, you can then reinterpret your circumstance. And often you can change your circumstance or you can deal with and go through your circumstances in a different way when you have and when you experience contentment, fulfillment, peace, and joy. Okay, so this is not just about making you happy, 
This is about giving you a solid foundation, right? A solid foundation, which is ultimately found. Now, I know some people are not going to like this, but I have to say it. Ultimately, it's found in a relationship between you and your Creator, right? It's found in a relationship between you and your Creator. And what happens to many people is that they try to fill that void that only your Creator, that only God can fill. They try to fill it with stuff with experiences, with relationships, right? They try to fill it with a whole bunch of stuff and it's insatiable, right? This void is insatiable, so they're constantly trying to fill it and it's never filled, so they have more and more stuff, more and more relationships, different, more than, and it's just never filled. And so that within itself creates a sense of pain and emptiness because you keep trying to fill it and you can't. Because the only thing that can fill it is having a relationship and then ultimately an intimate relationship with your Creator, with God. And now, once that happens, then you have that sense of contentment and fulfillment and joy and peace. But beyond that, there's still a lot of work that you and I have to do. And what is that? Our job, our task, is to, is to discover what it is that God's called us to do, right? How are we going to employ and use our talents, our gifts, purposes, experiences, our education? What gifts and talents and abilities of education do we need to acquire? That is, some things that we need to learn or things that we need to develop. And then what do we really love to do? And then how can we start to do that? And for many people, this may mean how can I make a living at this? That means that we may need to think outside the box and be kind of creative. And then how can we just live that out? That's what we're going to look at in this series. Now, how can you take advantage how can you take the greatest advantage of this series? Well, that is, give me your name and your email address. And each time I publish an article or video and audio, then you'll be able to be notified so that you can catch it. And, and I'll be sending you some other you know, encouraging emails and so forth. I'm not going to spam you, send you 100,000 emails a week or anything like that. But certainly the best way to take advantage of that is to give me your name and your email address so that we can communicate directly one-to-one. -one. Does that make sense? Well, this is the introductory video. I hope that it's been encouraging to you. I hope that you're as excited as I am and looking forward to the, the next part in this ongoing series of how to find your passion, your purpose, and your destiny. So this is a question that you may be asking. How do I find my passion, purpose, and destiny? And that's what we're going to answer in this series. Well, once again, my name is Michael Williams, and welcome, and I look forward to seeing you or talking with you in the next reflection.